product options are an important part of selling your products online. At BigCommerce, we break this into two parts, options and option sets. But first, what are product options? Product options are things like size, color, or pattern. Even yes-no questions, text entries, or preferred dates can be product options. Some products may require multiple options. We build all of our options first, and then we add them into an option set. Once we've put all of our product's options into an option set, we can then apply that option set to our product. Let's see how it's done inside the control panel. We should always start this process with a product or product line in mind. Then we can start building the options we need for these products. Let's go to products in the navigation, and then we'll find the product options link. We land on a list of pre-existing options. Let's click create an option to get started. BigCommerce created these tiles to help store owners quickly build the most widely used options, size and color. If you need a different type of option, you can click create your own. I'm going to sell a t-shirt. My t-shirt comes in different sizes and colors. Let's start with a size option. This option name is used internally inside the control panel. I like to be very descriptive with this option name as I may have to find it in a long list of options later on. Below, we see our option values. BigCommerce has provided three default sizes to get you started. But if we offer this product or product line in extra large, we need to add the extra large value to this option. To add another option choice, click on the green plus sign to the right of the last value. Now we'll type in the option value we want to offer our customers. This size system can work for all types of size values, like ounces or shoe sizes. Just write in the options you want to offer on this product. When this option is complete, click next on the bottom right. I am not required to put this option into an option set just yet, but if you had already created the option set for this type of product, this would be a great time and place to add your new option right into its option set. Remember, option sets get added to your product, not the option directly. You can also create your option set right now by clicking this link here. I'm going to go ahead and create an option set right now, so my option for size is automatically put into this option set. When I'm naming my option set, I want to anticipate any other options I'm going to put into this set. I know I'm going to add a color option to my product because I sell my t-shirt in three different colors. Let's click save and we'll go create our color option. Now to create a color option, we'll start by clicking the create an option button again. But this time I'll select the color tile. I'll give my option a descriptive name for internal use. I like to list the colors that will be inside this color option in the option name. Now I can begin naming and selecting my colors. My first color will be navy blue. Since I won't be offering a red option, I can overwrite this first value. Click the red color swatch to the right. This brings up the color picker tool. First, I'll select my color range with the slider tool here. Then I move over to the left box to select my shade of navy blue. Hold down your left mouse button as you move around the box. Once I've found the right color navy blue, I release my mouse button and click off the picker window. You'll notice a new hex value is present. If you know the hex values of your colors, you don't have to use the color picker at all. Let's name this color navy blue and select the other two colors we offer for this product. I'll add BigCommerce blue by using its hex value. When you're done, you can click next to move on to the next step. Now, since we've already created the option set for our t-shirt, we can easily add our new color option right into the corresponding option set. Let's click save and go apply our option set to our product. We're directed back to our product options page and we see our two new options that we just created, size and color. The last step is to apply this option set to our product. Let's go back to our products list. Click the products link in the navigation and then select view on the top. Find the product you're building your options for and click its title. Now click the option tab at the top. And then pull down the drop down menu to find your option set. Hit save and you've successfully added options to your product. Let's go check it out on our storefront. Here's our size option. And then below we can see our color swatches. 
If you ever need to add options to this product, simply create new options and add them into this option set.